as we profile artists to celebrate Black History Month, we turn to one whose tool is not a brush, it's his camera. It is fair to say there's hardly a veteran journalist in the country who does not know the name John H. White. His life motto is keep in flight. John White recently invited us into his home to show us his work and to tell us what keeps him soaring after all these years. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, that's the one. Okay. When the person behind this camera becomes the subject of the story, something amazing unfolds. A hundred years from now, the, the, this, this image I click now uh, is be, will be just as fresh. Bang! A hundred years from now is today. A John White photograph can make time stand still for a moment, but its impact can last a lifetime. People need to understand who we are, where we are. We're in here for this time short time we leave what we leave is you know forever john h white has not only chronicled history he's made it in 1982 while at the chicago sun times white won the pulitzer prize for photojournalism his work embodied life in chicago often focusing on the black experience the joy of a baptism at the 31st street beach the terror of a gas explosion at cabrini green the beauty of young ballet students in a quest for perfection. Pictures of my friends, I mean, they speak to me. They have a language of their own. Yeah. They're, they're living moments. When you look through that camera lens, what are you looking for? I like pictures, you know, I love pictures, you know, I love it. But uh, it's the connection with the human spirit. The most important thing is humanity. That humanity is what stands out to Richard Kahn. He was the pictures editor at the Chicago Sun-Times from 1983 to 1999 and worked with John all that time. He sees things that other people don't see. He takes a look at a fire scene or a, you know, a demonstration and he knows exactly where to go and he puts himself in that position. And he takes photographs that other people don't take. You know, there are people that go to those assignments and they go, I never even saw this and there John was. John White was born in 1945 in North Carolina a difficult time and place. You know, to grow up in the South, for instance, and to see things that these eyes saw uh, that would, uh, that hurts now. But he always maintained his belief in the good. Where does that worldview come from in you? My father was, uh, was a minister that said, make a friend a day, and my mother never knew a stranger. How were you able to maintain that as a child in the South, seeing what you Saw. Faith, my faith in God, my faith in humanity, my faith in hope, never losing hope and belief. And then knowing that I have a responsibility to uh, be an ambassador of love. White says he learned about love and more from two of his favorite subjects, Muhammad Ali. But he was so smart. People don't, didn't realize how, what, a, what, a, what a genius he was. What made Muhammad Ali so great in your mind? The humanity. I mean, he was more than a boxer. He was a good soul, good person. And Joseph Cardinal Bernadine. His life enriches me now. It continues to enrich me because the examples I saw, the things that he did, and the way he lived, the way he suffered, the way he died. Cardinal Bernadine was one of the most influential persons in my life. Get the moment. And then improve the moment and White hopes to enrich the photographers who will follow him. He's taught here at Chicago's Columbia College for the last 45 years. Moving this way just a little bit brings separation between here and here. You see what I mean? He says it keeps him sharp. I'm the oldest student in the class. Yeah. You're still learning. Oh, without a doubt. And John White says he'll keep on learning and finding beauty and believing in the good. I'm the most blessed photographer on earth. I, I just want to be the guy's picture ticket. John told me that when he was nine years old, like a lot of us, he was not good at math. His teacher told the whole class John would grow up to work on a garbage truck. John's father told him, I won't tell you what to be in life, but if you do work on a garbage truck, make sure you're the driver. What an anecdote. And imagine how 
lucky those students are at Columbia College Chicago. Having to watched be taught by John White. Yes, having watched that whole piece, I was so struck by that. And 45 years 45 of, of years. sharing his vision. Yeah. Really incredible. Thank you for that story, Very Jim. gracious to us.